What's up, Miss YouTube? Miss YouTube, I really love my life. The lesson that I shared today, the lesson I learned from being really young and permanently in permanently blocked, and the victimization of the self, the self victimization, and how that you do it, man. Like, how that is so toxic for you and for the people that in your environment. When I was 21, 22, I started getting into back problems and back injuries. I, I got played in this category by my environment. My environment is a medical, like medical team or a medical professional. You know, I, like, I was diagnosed or I was. There was something wrong with me. Like, there was actually, I had an actual injury. I had an actual deficiency. I was kind of fucked. But that's what it started. I was going to do it for a time. And I was placed in this category where people taught me as if I needed to hit Or they would talk to me every time, but it would come down on my condition. It would play to me in, in that I need help become a victim of mine. Or I'm going to need help as if I was a victim. I was a victim of circumstances, or shooting like a victim of circumstances. But I was reflecting on how people were actually, how they would handle these type of issues. I needed help for a long time, and I never got it. And I was kind of waiting, and I think I'm on it. How I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't know what actually the help was. I didn't know who to ask for help. I didn't know anything. Really, like, I was just lost them. That's it. But instead of instead of accepting the circumstance and calling the name of the circumstance, I liberated myself from the feeling that I had to be the right thing. Because I started to understand that people just wanted to fucking help me to make themselves feel good. That really helped me really understand the problem was. It was they just wanted to do enough to make me fucking make themselves feel good. That's really healthy. Because if you see you donate money, then it is actually make the action itself. Right? So, when, when the people out now, my peers, I'm about to have to fucking injury, and I didn't care for this. I mean, maybe there is now, I don't know, but at the time, right now, like, I still had it, but it'll deal with it. But it's a hit. However, it was like the responsibility. I almost took it on the cell, like, they had to give me fucking solution. Because they knew, like, no matter if it's hard, like, I don't have to do this. The truth is, I have fucking back injury. My back hurt all the fucking time. That is true. That is a fact. I wasn't asking for pity. People were giving me pity. And when I take, they know what me as being rude. They consider it. Like, they didn't make any fucking sense. But the reality is, it's like, I know and I knew that I needed to talk about my own life by myself and not by asking for help. Because neither of those nuts that anybody could do for me. So I didn't want people to fuck help me. I didn't want anybody to try to help me. I didn't fucking need anything. Like, if there was nothing, I knew that. It didn't fuck matter what it, like, what it actually people had. There wasn't anything that they actually were actually going to help me. And that's the, that's the truth. I mean, people have a hard time understanding that. Because, see, it's easier to fucking pretend that you help with somebody else. It's easier to pretend that you actually made the fucking solution. You actually became a patient. That's to give me something. Like, I'm not, you don't know the responsible to solve every fucking problem. Like, you need to understand that you have to solve your own problem first. Once you fuck your own life, make it actually provide value those that actually need it. I'm just fucking helpful because you need something to validate yourself, validate your opinion, validate your action. I was fucking good enough. Now, people need to build themselves because they're fucking valuable. You know, because they knew, knew, my environment knew that I needed, I was had efficiency. I had efficiency in, in other things, and the injury was an additional efficiency. So, in order for people to feel like they're fucking good, or they feel like they should fuck them off, don't try to present these fucking answers on me as I need them. I was asking for them. Then when they want to fucking take them, they were upset. Look at us because I don't fucking need help. It's hard. It's hard to understand when, when you don't fucking need somebody. When, when, when you can actually free yourself and understand it. If you want to see anything, if you want to see happiness, you can do it all by yourself. Well, it should from within. And when you remove yourself from, from this situation where you. you it's your happiness being contingent on being accepted or approved or, or you doing the right thing in somebody else's life or somebody else's environment or somebody else's timeline. Then you just lose because you give your power, you give your power of happiness, you give your power of enjoyment to somebody else that doesn't give a fuck about if you're actually fulfilled or not. You give your power away to those that just want to be able to project the shit out of you. And they want to see like people want to be like, oh, I'm going to home, I can't believe the moment to me. Because what if they want to tell? See, when you leave their minds, they want you to fuck it and you're the victim so they can help you because they're victim themselves. You don't fucking understand that. Like, you want to beat the shit because a lot of people that are telling you, giving you delusions, and want you to be the fucking victim, they're fucking.
do. And they help, but they're not asked for it. They don't want to help you. I always don't want to help you. Because if they have to help you, it makes you feel like a problem. You know, but all that comes with it. You don't need anybody to tell you anything. You don't need anybody to You don't need a bullshit. We're going to be happy. That's the only thing that matters. But people don't want to hear that shit. People want to admit that. It's really fucking hard. I, I, it's really hard to overcome the situation. It's really hard to overcome that, that injury, you know, permanent injury. The fact that you can't do the things that you're supposed to do. Or you, you can't do the thing that, that you know that you could do. Or, or you can't do the same shit that you could do anymore. That's why you have to give up certain, certain things. Like, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough to follow. You know, I had to come to her and say, what the fuck doctor told me that I wasn't really going to be a runner? Like, the, the first thing I thought about, I had to come to terms with the fact that, like, I wasn't going to be able to play with my children. I want to have kids. And I had to swallow that. You know, like, it's tough. But doing the, like, I, I just don't want to believe that. You know, like, I don't want to believe myself as a victim. I don't want to think I'm a victim. I don't think that I can actually win it. And I've proven it to myself because the world was better by now. I wasn't able to run at all. So me carrying a child could be easy because I've trained myself to where I could do it. I could achieve it. And I'm a fuck. So I'm not supposed to. I don't care. I don't care if I'm supposed to. I'm going to do what the fuck I want. So, because I'm not a fucking victim. See, like, people are telling me that I can't do something, but they're victims of themselves. They're victims of circumstances. And they want you to be a victim of circumstances as well. So they justify they're not achieving their potential. So they justify that they're fucking not doing shit with lies. So they can tell you what to do. So you come for advice. But see, if they have no value, they're not their own lives. And how do you do it? Like, that trust is something that earned. That trust is something that... I mean, anything can happen really, but you have to take responsibility for your life. You have to start projecting these ideas and these fucking stupid fucking nuggets that you probably don't even have. So you have to work through like, have you? Have you unbucked it? Then don't fucking tell anybody anything if you haven't solved this shit for yourself first. No, stop justifying poverty. Stop justifying victimization of victimization. Stop it. Like, nobody wants to fucking hear. Nobody wants to hear you complain. The reality is that nobody cares about your problem. So, it was my hand. I'm going to get I'm going to get so I'll see you guys next time.